Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today I want to make an addition to this fire alarm system. Pretty much every area in the basement is covered by this alarm system. Uh, there's a smoke detector and a horn strobe uh, or a speaker strobe in pretty much every area here except for this bathroom. Uh, you might be thinking why do you need fire protection in a bathroom? Well in a lot of cases there's things that could catch on fire in a bathroom. Um, obviously there's stuff in the cabinets, there's wood, um, people use hair dryers and stuff like that. I don't think anyone's going to be showering or anything in here, so I might just install a smoke detector, but usually in bathrooms you uh, have a tendency to not see smoke detectors for that reason because you don't want steam to set off the alarms. But uh, either way, I'm going to be installing a automatic sensor somewhere. I already have a strobe here, but um, I want some sort of automatic detection, so I'll probably put a smoke detector like here. Now it makes perfect sense to just tap off of that zone because there's already wires running from the panel here and uh, this room is right next to here. That's why I ran the wire from that strobe to this one here. Um, obviously I can't go directly over the strobe in line because there's this can light, but I'll probably just to make it um, look decent, I'll have that detector in line with these can lights and just offset it like right here. I again don't want it too close to this bathroom fan. Um, obviously if it's a heat detector that doesn't really matter but in the event that I have a smoke detector in here um, it's probably not a good idea to have it too close to that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these devices. By the way a lot of people are probably gonna ask why the Christmas lights aren't up right now. No I didn't take them down. Um, I filmed my videos in advance so if you're seeing them they were probably filmed a couple weeks ago. Right now I'm filming this in November. You're probably gonna see the video in December but uh, don't worry the Christmas lights are up. They're just not up at this time because it's only the 26th but we're gonna go ahead and remove these. Now I'm gonna go ahead and undo the screws for this uh, panel. Putting these access panels on chains was one of the best things I ever did because it allows me to pull these down and let it hang there so I don't have to disconnect all the wires. Um, also in the event that someone actually needs to use this access panel, because keep in mind these are panels that are here for a reason, um, the wiring doesn't just have to hold everything up. Went ahead and put this base up to the ceiling where I want it. I traced out the uh, holes I'm going to drill. Um, obviously, it's a good idea to use a box in a lot of cases, but that's not a requirement. First of all, this system is low voltage, so it's perfectly safe to do this. I'll probably just punch a hole and use two anchors. Very common to see that with security systems. Uh, second of all, I really don't want to do too much damage in the event I have to patch this. It's going to be a nightmare if I have to cut this huge hole for just a heat detector. So um, that way I minimize damage. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and drill my hole now. Before you drill any holes in your ceiling, especially because we're in a bathroom, you gotta make sure that there's nothing behind the ceiling. Um, in this case, it makes it really easy that I have that entire access panel over there. So I just look this way, there's nothing. There is a pipe, plumbing pipe that goes that way, um, but it's not gonna be a problem here. But either way, it's good practice to not just take a drill and just plunge it into the ceiling. You gotta go really slow and just easily work it in just in case there's obstructions and uh, it'll work out better for you. In this case, there's nothing behind the ceiling, so that's good. Now the hard part is getting the wire here. Let me show you how I'm gonna do it. So I have this fish tape here, and I'm gonna put it into the uh, thing I just drilled, and I'm gonna put it up here, and then I'm just gonna start sending this fish tape up. And then from the other side, I'm gonna try and grab it. And there it is. You can see our fish tape all up there, so we just have to somehow get that over here. One of the cheat codes I use to fish wire is this thing. This is a tent pole right here. And you might be thinking, that's crazy. Why would you use a tent pole to fish wires? Um, and hear me out. These things are really good for fishing wire. Um, they're kind of like a makeshift um, fish tape in the sense that they can fold down like this. This can fit through a small cavity, just a small hole, and then it'll basically extend into an entire uh, stick. But the thing that's good about them is the fact that they're like rigid enough that you can kind of like push it where you need it. Um, and if you tape a hook on the end here, uh, once you get it to where you need it, then you can start pulling and there's strings in between each section. So they're really helpful. Got the fish tape here. So now I have to tape the uh, cable that I'm pulling through this um, loop here and then just pull the other end. There's our wire. Drill some holes for these anchors. In. Went ahead and mounted the base for this detector, so I'm gonna go ahead and wire it. It's pretty simple as you can see. Obviously, since this is the last device, I need a resistor. Once I do that, I'm gonna put this detector in. By the way, this thing looks really, really yellow. It's not actually yellow. 
Um, it's just the lighting because the walls are yellow. So the light reflects like this is white right now, but as soon as I put it up, it has that yellow tint to it, but it's not actually yellow. So now I also have to go ahead and change the programming in the system because this zone still says basement bedroom. So I have to change it to a combination. There we go. Let's go ahead and test this detector with this nail on a stick. So. There we go. There we have it, that's our new smoke detector. You can see it's covering this area pretty well. In the future, if I ever start using this shower, which no one ever does, um, I'll change it to a heat detector because obviously as soon as hot water comes out of this thing and steam starts going up, um, this is gonna false alarm and it's gonna be annoying. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, everyone.